In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to everyone joining us at home as well for Mass this morning. I'm offering this Mass for Walter White. I hope that's the correct pronunciation. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you call your people to turn away from sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You teach us wisdom and write your truth in our inmost heart. Christ, have mercy. You forgive sins through the ministry of reconciliation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Today in the first reading, we're back to the prophet Isaiah as we move around the different books of the Old Testament. Like the Isaiah passage from last Friday, this is from towards the end of the book. Earlier in today's chapter, we hear the famous lines inviting all who are thirsty to come to the water. In verses 10 and 11, today's first reading, we hear that God's word will not return without having achieved its purpose. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, as the rain and the snow come down from the heavens and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield and giving growth to provide seed for the sower and bread for the eating. So the will that goes from my mouth does not return to me empty without carrying out my will and succeeding in what I was sent to do. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord rescues the just in all their distress. The Lord rescues the just in all their distress. Glory. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. The Lord returns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. The Lord turns his eyes to the just and his ears to the appeal. They call and the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Lord, Jesus, Gospel acclamation. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Jesus said to his disciples, In your prayers do not babble as the pagans do, for they think that by using many words they will make themselves heard. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him, so you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, May your name be held holy, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we have forgiven those who are in debt to us. 
and do not put us to the test, but save us from the evil one. Yes, if you forgive others their failings, your heavenly Father will forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive your failings either. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Each of us can't help but learn through our own life experience that words have great power. Words can be used to destroy, to damage and to cause rifts. But they can also be used to build up, to restore and to heal. Each of us has a responsibility for the sort of words we use. We can choose to use words that build up the body of Christ, or we can choose to use words that destroy it. In the first reading this morning, Isaiah reminds us of the power of words. Isaiah was one of the mouthpieces for God in the Old Testament, and he states that God's word will always be fulfilled. But that requires living voices like Isaiah's to speak God's word. So it requires our voices too. This this Lent, we should try and remember each time we open our mouth, we have a choice about the words we use. So we ask the Lord for the strength to use words that are worthy of him. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us, that it may bring us eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Grant us through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating earthly desires we may learn to love the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you for joining me for Mass this morning, those of you here in church and those of you at home. By God bless. Oh, please remember St Bernadette Shavington School community today. Please, God, finally they might be appointing a head teacher today, so please remember them in your prayers. Thank you. <laughs>